Sophia, a second year business student here at Lakehead University Aurelia. Today I'm going to be giving you a tour of the on-campus residence. So come with me. So this is Colin, the Residence Life Coordinator here at Lakehead University Aurelia. He'll be giving us our tour today. Welcome to the second floor. So every floor in the residence building, which is uh, six floors for students, has a common room and a study lounge. So let's go check out the common room. Every common room on all the floors has just about the same layout. We have the table and chairs for students that want to study, garbage recycling, a sink for students that want to do their dishes and anything like that. There's also a microwave oven, kettle, and the microwave itself, as well as a laundry room in the back. Each lounge also has its share of couches and chairs for students to lounge in. The lounge is open any time for students to wander in and study or relax, as well as a TV and DVD player for students to watch TV shows and movies and everything, and HDMI cords if they want to hook up anything else. Across from the common room on every floor is also a study lounge, so let's go take a look. Each of the floors in residence has about 40 rooms, so let's go take a look at one. So I noticed that this is a single room, mm -hmm. but is there any double rooms here at residence? Uh, there isn't actually a Lakehead Aurelia. Everyone gets a single room no matter what floor you're on, uh, but you do share your bathroom with one other person who is known as your can mate. Do you get to choose your can mate? So in the application process, it'll ask you your personal preferences for when you study, if you're clean or messy, uh, your preferences about noise and everything like that, and then you are paired up with someone with those uh, like preferences. But if you want to, you can put in someone's personal information and then you can be assigned to be canmates with them. So if you know that person is coming to the school, you can ask to be canmates with them? That's right. So what items should you bring to your dorm room? So there's already a lot actually provided for you. You have a desk chair, the desk itself, phone, lamp, garbage and recycling bins, the bed of course. Uh, a mini fridge and the bathroom vanity and closet space. So more or less just kind of accessories for all of those things, including uh, your laptop, of course, for studying, your books, and th accessories for the bathroom and vanity, like air fresheners, hair dryers, etc., and then also bedding. So I've noticed you've been swiping your car a lot. Why is that? So it's all for security purposes. So your key card that you get gets you up to your room, bathroom, the stairs, and the elevator. Um, so what you'll have to do is you have to tap this hotspot every 24 hours or your card will expire. Even with an expired card at 8 p.m. the doors will lock and it can still get you into the building. You just have to make sure to tap your card again. So here we are at the first floor social lounge. Let's go take a look. So what kind of activities happen in this room? So a lot of programming happens in this room between the residence assistants and the house presidents. So we've done tie-dye in this room, we've had a big holiday party, but there's a lot of different programming that happens due to its space. We also have just couches and the TV for students to relax and everything, the Xbox and the Wii U and other gaming systems, as well as a DVD player for students, as well as tables for them to study. It's open 24 hours whenever the students want it. So who's allowed to use the kitchen? So if students are able to use the kitchen, typically with uh, residence assistant supervision, but they are allowed to fill out a waiver for general use of all its appliances and everything. Do you have to purchase a meal plan? Yes, you do. So it's included in your residence fees. There are two options for the type of meal plan you can have, but it is for the on-site cafeteria. What happens if you run out of your meal plan? So you can always choose to add more to your meal plan at any point. All right, let's get going. Thanks for coming with us on our tour of Lake Hedorilli Residence. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye!